Hello folks, this is Waves from SlideNet again. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to use command line arguments. You probably heard this word command line arguments and you're wondering what the hell it means. Well, let's find out. Now let's take a real example and find out what's going on. So let's say you work in an office and you have two girlfriends in the same office. One is called Jane and the other is called Lynn. So to propose one of them, you have written a unique program which simply says something like this system dot out dot print and love you jade but if you run this let's try running it so i'm gonna go to my desktop cd users all right so now java c love or java and java love so it's gonna say love you Jane, but here's the problem. If Lynn sees this program, she's gonna kick you. And she'll also make the first one kick you. So you'll have to modify this program in such a way that it shows you love you for both of them. How do we do that? Well, that's exactly what is done with command line arguments. Command line arguments means you give the compiler some text and the compiler gives the text to your program when it runs. Let's see how that works. So here, as you see, there's something called args over here. Instead of writing Jane, I'll simply say love you and put a plus sign and put args of zero. And I'll save this. And now when I run the program, I'll say Java C love.java. And now when I say Java love, I will say Jade along with it. So what happens? It says love you Jane, but now instead if I say Java love Lynn, it says love you Lynn. In short, use the same program to propose both of them. So what I simply did is, I had this args, which is a set of text that the compiler passed to me and I used the first one out of that. So let me show you the syntax and how things work exactly. So here is the thing, when you have one argument, you say Java C, compile the program as you do, and you say Java space, your program name, and then this extra word, which becomes your argument. Now this becomes equal to your argument zero, the first one, and you can use it directly by saying hello from, and you can add that. S you, when you want to join two strings in Java, you simply add it using a plus sign. So now when you talk about multiple arguments, you can also have more than one things passed in. Like in this case, you can have Java, my program, oh my God. So if you think carefully, O is the first, M, my second, God becomes the third one. So argument zero, argument one, and argument two. You can print all three of them by adding each of them to your I set. Then you say plus argument zero, plus argument one, plus argument two. and that's how it runs. But remember something, when you have an argument kind of program and you don't give it any argument, it's gonna give an error. So you have to be careful about that. I hope you guys got something about what command line arguments are. If you like what you saw, please subscribe to my channel. Please comment, let me know what you think about this. I'll catch you guys later. Have a nice day.